I'm Mayor Cynthia Miller, City of District Heights. And we have a great family here. So we have visitors. So when you have visitors to come to your house, you at least want to acknowledge them. So. So is that all of the elected officials and candidates that's running for office? Everybody's going to get a little say. I know there are other festivals and events going on, so a lot of the candidates came through earlier. Some participated in the parade, but we have a group here. <laughs> So I'm going to pass the mic around. Hey, please be brief. <laughs> please be brief, okay? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Deneen Johnson. I'm running for the Board of Education in District 6. Um, I'm running on a platform to infuse technology in our schools. I believe our children should be the creators of technology and not just the consumers of technology. Um, our children are smart. We can get them learning IT in elementary school. Um, our teachers need more money, um, more services, health services for our students and teachers. So I hope you vote for me on July 19th. Thank you. Hello, I'm Monique Anderson Walker, and I'm running to be your next Lieutenant Governor for the state of Maryland. Woo! I'm running with Peter Francho, who's currently your comptroller. Um, Peter and I are the only team running that actually has governed through a pandemic. Myself as a county council person on a very local level, representing District 8, which is at Fort Washington, National Harbor area, up to and including Joint Base Andrews. But the truth is, I have fought for all of Prince George's County for education and health, which really are the determinants of wealth. As we know, Maryland is very affluent. We make a lot of money, but we spend a lot of money to live here. I'm much more interested in creating wealth so you have something to pass down. So in looking at opportunities to keep money in your pocket, we have ideas and a very doable agenda if you go to francho.com, F-R-A-N-C-H-O-T.com, to implement uh, those, those agenda items that will actually help put money back in your pocket. Uh, I will name just a, a few things. One is state-backed mortgages so that we have more opportunity for home ownership for people who might not otherwise be able to get a mortgage but could pay the monthly rate. This is important for wealth building because home ownership is a huge component to wealth building. In the area of education, um, I have instituted as a council member a technology program which has been a hit um, with drone training, with elementary, middle and high school students building drones, coding the drones, and then learning various applications of those drones. The desire is to have this instituted as part of our regular curricula so that our students, when they graduate, have licenses, have, okay, let me wrap it up, licensing, how they, that, that they have certifications, and that they have opportunities to go directly into careers. Thank you again for your opportunity, and I humbly ask for your vote for the Francho Anderson Walker ticket. Thank you. Woo! Okay, folks, let's keep it brief, okay? <laughs> Hi, my name is Edward Burroughs, County Council Member, District 8. I was able to take over from our next Lieutenant Governor, uh, Monique Anderson Walker. Uh, so thank you for being here. I'm going to be very brief. Thank you for having me. I want to thank my colleague on the County Council, Jonathan Medlock, for inviting me. Jonathan, as we were going over the budget, wanted to put all the money here in District Heights. Uh, <laughs> and he was very successful in doing some of that. So thank you very much for inviting me, Jonathan. Hello everybody, I'm Denise Smith. I'm a candidate for Prince George's County Council for District 6. Um, I am a native of District Heights. I graduated from Suitland High School and um, I currently serve as Communications Director for our State's Attorney, Aisha Brave Boy. I've been in county government for going on 20 years, working from the County Executive's Office to out in the agency and now in the Judicial Branch. I'm the only, count, the only candidate with any county government experience and I am running because for some very specific things. I want to help create opportunities for small minority businesses here in Prince George's County. I want to help improve the education system specifically for children with autism and special needs. And I want to make sure that we expand senior services here in the county. 
I'm asking for your vote. Denise Smith, July 19th, County Council, District 6. Thank you. All right. Hey, good afternoon, gorgeous Prince George's. How are you all doing? Good? All right. My name is Aruna Miller, and I am running as Lieutenant Governor with Westmore for Governor. How many of you feel like you've been left behind by Annapolis? Do you feel like you're being ignored? Well, guess what? Westmore is going to take care of this because Westmore believes that no one should be left behind. That's the entire philosophy of our campaign. We're going to make sure that we address the issues that are happening here in Prince George's County. And I thank you all for being here. And it's great to be here with Councilman Matlock. What a great leader you have here. Let's give it up for him next. Thank you all. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Good afternoon, District Heights. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am Jonathan Medlock. I am the former mayor of the city of District Heights, and I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Miller. Thank you for uh, this event. This is an awesome, an awesome day. I am currently the county council for District 6. Uh, my colleague here again, Edward Burroughs, is doing an excellent job. We work well together, doing the work for our residents, and we're going to do so much more moving forward. We're going to include uh, District Heights in everything, as you mentioned. Fought very hard to get the things for District Heights, and we're going to continue to fight for not only District Heights, but we have Bowie, we have Largo, Mitchellville. We have so much to fight for, so much to do, and we're going to get it done. Thank you so much, Mayor. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Vanessa Gibson. I'm here representing Ramon Jackson, who's running for mayor of District Heights. He is a new candidate to the scene, but we are representing our people, our city, our time. He lives in District Heights. His mother lives in District Heights. His grandmother lives in District Heights. He is all about helping make District Heights a better place. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out. So you all know, local elections are very important. So we have the mayor's race, we have Commissioner Ward 1 race, and we have Commissioner Ward 2 race on July the 11th for District Heights elections. The next election date is July 19th, and you've heard from the candidates. Please come out and vote, because if you don't exercise your vote, you don't need to complain, okay? All right, so enjoy the rest of this activities, festivities, eat, mingle, network, get to know the candidates, and enjoy your day. Thank you. <laughs>